There is always an open mind to speak out for our opinion. Something that we would like to talk about as a threat. Have any suggestions, comments or opinions on Singapore public bus industry? Welcome to Hashtag Debate! On today's episode of Hashtag Debate, we'll be talking about the biggest news in Singapore, the COVID clusters in the bus industry. For the past nearly one month, cases were rising across five bus interchanges in Singapore, mainly Topayo is holding on to the biggest case in Singapore, followed by Boon Lay. Now, there are over 500 cases that is linked with the bus interchange clusters nationwide. A total of more than 300 staffs island-wide have been tested positive for the COVID-19. Fortunately, majority of these cases are those who have been fully vaccinated. So, the recovery will be faster as MR or no symptom. But that doesn't mean the number will be going down. Unfortunately, the nurse of Manpower has just started. With more than 300 staff that is currently served quarantine period of 2 weeks, the bus operation is affected. Longer waiting time is expected for some bus services due to shortage of bus captains. It could be up to between 15 minutes to an hour. Buses that were being driven by the bus captain who were affected of the virus will be isolated for deep cleaning and sanitizing purposes. Hence, not only it involves shortage of manpower but buses as well. Fortunately, more high capacity buses to be deployed, especially on weekdays, peak cover that serves the full demand along the route. We have seen buses that went cross written depot cameo, especially in SMRT buses. This is to cover the bus captain that is currently being quarantined. Unfortunately, Go Ahead is getting more and more shortage numbers of bus captains to run its operation. With 32 cases in Pongol and 15 bus captains were isolated, it is no doubt that these numbers will be increasing and making it even worse. So therefore, their city direct and express bus services within Go Ahead is currently suspended. This is to make sure that these buses and bus captains will often judge these suspended bus services to be covered the loss of those buses and its bus captain from its operational duties. Although this is the only movement that will be done by Go Ahead and LTA, some of you might ask that what about other bus operators to help out of driving Go Ahead bus services? In fact, all across four bus operators are facing this issue and they can, they can be only done with the company. Even if you as the other bus operators helping, let's say, go ahead, your own company might face even bigger shortage manpower issue. This brings the worries of our bus captains. We possibly made that majority of bus captains were told to be working on their off day as an overtime to cover their affected colleagues and to keep the buses running throughout the day. We as commuters are much worried about the, their guest. Although bringing an overtime on our bus captains gives an additional allowance into their salary, health is our concern. Without rest, our both mental and physical health might be going down. So let's not forget to support our bus captains, especially those who are in the middle of recovering process and sacrifice their off days to making the wheels running. Both authorities and bus operators are trying their best to keeping buses running for us but we have to understand this difficult time. Nevertheless, it's a relief that those affected bus captains will be covered as early as next week. But more worries is that more bus captains are in the quarantine order. So, how to stop this? The cases will rapidly increase in Singapore. Although it is in the endemic, public transport is one of the risk factors to get COVID. So many cross region buses to cover its affected loss while some are in their OTs. Fortunately, a behind the scenes of deep cleaning and sanitizing in the bus interchanges and all buses, regardless if it was driven by an affected employee or not. As of now, Tower Transit and SMRT buses is currently bringing all of their bus captain and staff to go mandatory swap tests. So, if you are working the authority or in the bus operator, 
What will you do when this situation happens? Leave your comment down below. Thank you for watching this is episode of Hashtag Debate. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, 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 uh.